Alright YouTube, I'm back. Oh, Buffalo Perch Killer still at it. Alright, what I'm about to do now is clean these poles. I done fished, cleaned the fish, cleaned up the mess, cleaned the chopping board, the knives, put the fish up. Now what we want to do is get all these scales and shit off my pole. We're just going to wipe them down. These, these are my wife's disinfecting wipes, but they work really good. I'll take my glasses off, make sure I get everything. This is a uh, this is an ugly stick, one of the newer ones. Already came camo, with the camo reel. Oh man, look at all that stuff on my reel. I didn't want to get that off of there. I'm gonna use the same setup as I did. I'm gonna use the same setup tomorrow as I did today. I fish with a one ounce, nice no, three quarter ounce sinker, two hooks. On the bottom, caught a couple rock bass, smallmouth, over the sunnies with it. And then on the other pole, I uh, fished with a slip bobber. I'm going to switch that one up just a little bit. I'm going to show you in a minute, so I'm going to get this one clean. Got to have your poles looking pretty. Not only that. They work better when you keep them clean. Pretty Paul. It's got the chrome spool with the burgundy writing. So I got the burgundy line on it. <laughs> Gonna make sure tomorrow before I start fishing, I adjust my drive. Look at that camo. It's pretty, ain't it? That's about what I need. Get all this cleaned off. I don't want no scales on my pole, man. No scales. No metal scales to me. Visible skills, yeah. Oh, that's a tom right here. You can't see them through there. It's been a long day. Did a full day at work. In the process of doing the bathroom, I installed a walk in tub. But the damn tub was too big to get inside the bathroom door, so I had to cut the wall to get the damn tub in there. I put the whole wall back together like I never touched it. But like I said, we'll get to that stuff one day too. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want this hook in each right here, that'd be really nice. Alright. I would say that this pole is pretty much let's see here it's a six foot five medium action six pound to nine pound line record recommendation I got an eight on here all right that one's ready that one is ready and clean, ready for tomorrow. All ready to go. Not this big. Oh. Let me tell you something. This is one sexy pole. This damn pole reels in like a cat like, man. I mean, the difference between these poles is night and day. It's called, called, obviously costs a lot more money. It's got a better reel on it. But I'm telling you, man. You ain't fish with a pole if you fish with something like this. This right here is a Triumph St. Croix. That pole alone is over $107. This is what you're looking for. What is this? This is a 9 foot light power 
moderate action, something graphi graphite too, four to eight pound line rec uh, recommendation. Let's see, what is that? One, one sixteenth to three eighths. I guess that would be the size of lure that is telling you to, to throw with it or whatever. But I'll tell you what, oh man, look at these scales. I'll tell you what, this St. Croix ain't no joke. I don't know where the camera at. But you should be able to probably see that St. Croix. Triumph. It's a bad boy. I don't know nothing about this. I'm talking about this is top of the line fishing right here. I think I might be exaggerating. Y'all got to get one in your hand to understand what I'm saying. Alright, um, this real, this real is a fish hunter. Believe it or not, it's a camel reel <laughs> with a camel braided line. You see that? The braided line ain't no joke. It's a camel too. I told you this is a sexy ass pole. All my poles are sexy as hell. I gotta show them to you one day. I introduce you to all my poles. Alright, there's one scale. There's another scale. Alright, now that we got those scales off. Let's get this thing re-rigged. Oh, I had a mess at the end of the day. I got tied up with my own line. Let's see, we'll cut right here. I'm going to get rid of that. We good. Ties and beads. I'm gonna use these to put a slip over on. I had so much fun. I only need one bead. One tie. Alright. For y'all that don't know how to do a slip barber, let's get to it. I'll show you how to do it. Take the tie. It's got a little plastic tube on it. Slide the line through the tube. Most important thing to do, pull the tie up and the tube down. If you do be, do it the other way, the, you can pull the tube off. That's what it's made for. If you do it the other way, the damn tube will be up top and the tie will be on the bottom. Then you got a problem. This thing right here, my partner Murphy, better known as Jigger, always gets on me because I don't never cut my ties. But for this video, I'm going to cut them. So we want to tighten that up. We want to cut it real short. That's the wrong side of the knife. I've got a better knife than that. So let's cut this side. That damn pole move makes me think I got a fish, boy. You know I'm tired. Alright. So this right here is the knot. You slide it up and down. I can put that knot at 15 feet. I can put that knot at 2 feet. That's the that's the, the benefits of having a slip bobber. My partner, uh, the bass assassin, kept telling me I was fishing too deep today. 
you don't know, I was fishing shallow as hell. It looked like I'm fishing deep, but it's, I wasn't. Put the bead on next. The bead is going to hit the knot, and that's going to stop. Now you put on the slip bobber. I told you this is a sexy pole. Tomorrow, I had so much fun. I'm going to use these steel bobbers. Jigger, this is his favorite bobber. Steel. It's all solid wood, handmade. These are some nice ass bobbers because what it is is they stand up in the water. The reason why I'm using it is because I'm about to find the calico. I found some calico today. So you got the bobber, the bead, and the, and the knot. Boom. Now let's, uh, let's put a hook on there. I need help with my hooks, y'all. <sighs> Yesterday I lost a big fish. The day before that, the day before that I didn't go fishing. The day before that, I lost a big fish. And I'm thinking it's because of my hook size. I'm not sure. I actually lost one again today. Anyway. Anybody got any ideas? These right here, this is a size 6. Eagle claw. Eagle claw, all right? I don't know how you guys open up y'all hooks, but I just try to get them open and get one out. Let's uh, poke a hole right here. I'll just grab the first hook I can get my hands on. Hold the rest of them back. And pull. Let's see. Can't tell what's left. Got my glasses on. Alright. Slide that through there. Slide that through there. Boom. We have a hook. Alright, for the steel barber. We want to stand up, so I'm going to put two of these split shots on there. i got to buy the, the Bass Assassin pack of split shots tomorrow because, believe it or not, guys, I left my bag in the truck. I had a long walk the day before under that Peace Bridge. Another long walk today, man. I just didn't want to carry nothing. So I threw everything inside my cargo pants pockets, cargo pockets, whatever the hell they call it, and I chucked it out there. Tighten these up because today my barbers are sliding. These are these are not lead barbers. I don't know what the hell they are. Alright, so that's set up. So we got the hook. Let's see. There we go. That's how we're doing it tomorrow. We're gonna tear the ass up with this, I'll tell you that much right now. Just slide it up and down. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and set it now. I'm going to set the sucker at about four feet. So from six feet. Let's give it a couple more. Oh, that damn drag don't seem like one of the little towns up there. That should be good. Another thing with this is you can reel that tie right up. Man, that's smooth. Man, I'm telling you, this is a smooth ass pole. I tell you, it's a smooth pole. All right, Just tighten it up and break it down. Nine foot. All right, YouTube. Got my poles cleaned. I got the line set up. And it is. Holy shit, it's 12.09. I can't eat because I'm on a diet, so. 
about still a piece of watermelon, and then I'm going to bed. All right.